All right, let's get to the other men's semifinal, which has second seed Duke against third seed Maryland. And the Blue Devils had all the hype coming into the season, but it's the Terps that bring in that undefeated record out of the Big Ten. With a number of high-profile transfers on the other end for Duke, then the return of a number of star players for their extra year, or returning from injury, all sorts of guys coming in. In addition to the number one recruit, Duke was expected to have a big year, and they spent the first half of the season ranked number one until a loss to North Carolina on April 1st. Of course, the biggest name to join the Blue Devils for 2021, Michael Sowers. After starring at Princeton for four seasons, he used that extra year of eligibility to play at Duke, and he's playing in the NCAA tournament for the first time in his college career. He's third in the nation in points with 79, 35 goals, and 44 assists total. With those 79 points now, Michael is second on the all-time points list. He passed Pat Spencer for second all-time with his three goals and an assist in the quarterfinal against Loyola. A total in his career, 381 points. He would have to do something rather spectacular during championship weekend to catch Lyle Thompson, who holds the career record with 400 total. Looks like it's going to stay there for at least the foreseeable future. Another big Duke transfer is goalie Mike Adler, who came over from St. Joseph's, immediately seized the starting job. He put up a 9.88 goals against average, a save percentage of 53.7, and he talked to how about how now with the Blue Devils, the chance to compete for a championship is a whole new experience. At St. Joe's, uh, we we wanted to make the tournament. That was our goal. We wanted to win the an NEC championship and kind of make a run in the, in the tournament. That was that was what we were talking about. And then going through the transfer process and, and kind of realizing the, the schools that maybe I could attend and, and Duke being one of those schools, it's like, all right, like I want to win a national championship. I want to play at the pinnacle and I want to be around those guys who who also want to do that. And uh, it's been an epic journey. And uh, I, I've really, I've chased the best experience. And the national championship is great, but like what motivated me the most the last couple of weeks was just uh, being able to spend more one more week with my teammates and being around these guys because it's just so fun. That's what it's all about. Mike Gather will though be tasked with trying to stop Maryland star Jared Bernhardt, considered by many to be the towards on front runner right now. Bernhardt leads the nation in goals with 64, points with 87, and points per game, 6.21. He's a handful. Just ask his own teammate, Brett Makar, who talked to Travis Eldridge about facing him in practice every day. Here. Playing against Jared Bernhardt in practice is what? Uh, a headache. <laughs> uh, I think uh, as far as Jared goes, not only the best lacrosse player I've ever been around, but the best athlete I've probably ever watched live. So uh, I think when you combine those two together, um, like I said, a headache. He's uh, Since I got my freshman year of college early on, you know, whether it was him um, you know, trip me up behind the net or, or whatever it is. He's definitely always made made practice hard, and it's definitely made me better as a player. So, Obviously, don't give any secrets away, but have you figured out a way to stop him, or is it just not like it's just a flip of the coin and, and guessing every time? Yeah, I think he adds something new to his game, like, every day. So, um, kind of impossible to figure him out. And uh, like I said, he's he's a phenomenal athlete, so... Uh, whether it's his change of direction or straight line speed, he, he is phenomenal and uh, the best that, that I've seen or been around. So, Here is the tail of the tape between Maryland and Duke. A couple of high-powered offense ranked second and third in the nation respectively and a pair of really good defenses tied for 11th in the nation, giving up exactly 10 goals a game apiece. This is going to be awesome. We'll have... So much more in the semifinals with comprehensive coverage on Saturday. It starts at 11 a.m. with the Lacrosse Now pregame show, then postgame coverage, including press conferences from all the teams after both games. Travis Eldridge, Evan Washburn, Greg Gerenlian, players, coaches, Saturday here on Lax Sports Network.